Welcome to Kid Time Story Time with me and Hootie. Ooh. Do you ever feel like you're different? Ooh. Do you ever feel like maybe you just don't belong? Ooh. 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 Oh, that was a long answer. Do you ever think that maybe in a in a world full of orange, you're a, a purple banana? Ooh. 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 So does Georgia. Who? Yes, her. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to read her story. Ooh. I think you're going to like it too. <laughs> this is a fabulous story where the world of art and science collide. But do they have to collide? Maybe a little. But do they meet somewhere? I don't know. We'll see. And Georgia's terrific, colorific experiment. So this is Georgia. Hey Georgia, how you doing? So cute. She comes from a family of fantastic artists. Oh, I love artistic families. Her mother, her father, her brother, and her grandma leave Georgia in awe of everything they create. Even the family dog has creative ideas. Look at that. Everybody's working on an art project and crafting and you know the bone the bone arrangement that the dog has made is very artistic look at that but georgia well georgia is special she dreams of being a scientist from the vastness of the cosmos to the cell structure of animals and plants she is fascinated by science doo, doo, doo. She's blinded with science. Bada bum 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 bum. Georgia loves studying the works of other famous scientists too. She's captivated by Marie Curie's studies on radio radioactivity. She admires Galileo, Galileo, Galilei's discoveries of gravity. She fawns over Isaac Newton's conclusions about the color spectrum. Oh, as do I. Well, one day, Georgia had bling, an idea. I've read countless studies and handfuls of hypotheses, but I have never created my own unique experiment. If I can do that, I am sure to be a great scientist. Ah, so she's starting to dream big. And by the way, look at this artsy fartsy creative bedroom she has. And there's Diane Fossey, famous scientist on her wall. See, sometimes the artist leaves us little clues all over in the pictures and things that aren't said, but you can see them. Like here, she's got the table of elements and she's got the world globe. And then she has the artistic elements, stuff that probably her, her family has drawn and woven and created. So it's a very artsy room from an artsy family. Need any help? Her mother asks. I can show you how to sketch out your plans. No, thank you. Let me give you a few tips, her father states. I think adding some color could really enhance your scientific findings. That will not be necessary. I don't know, Georgia. You need a pop of visual awesomeness, her brother says. I can show you how to sculpt something amazing. Uh-oh. Everybody's feeling very helpful, but I think the look on Georgia's face says she is tired of other people buttoning. in. Enough! We were right. I don't need any help. I am not an artist. I am a scientist. Science is about proper calculations and not silly imaginative ideas. Fine! Her brother says. Don't be like us. Go ahead with your fancy schmancy calculator books and beakers. Hopefully your experiment doesn't bore you too much. Oh no, not a big argument. Since my science seems to be boring you, I can be found in my science hut alone. Okay, first of all, she has a science hut. How awesome is that? Secondly, I want to go where she's going. This garden is beautiful. I mean, there's a storm coming, but there's a hut. I'm sure there's a roof over it. So with a leap in her step, Georgia packs everything she can and leaves the house. And, and she goes past that 
beautiful garden and through that really cute gate and she runs into this really cozy looking safe woods. Oh, oh, do we even have to turn the page right now? I'm just gonna, oh, look at that beautiful place. And look, look, there's a fox and woo, woo, an owl and woo, another owl. And there's Georgia sitting there in this piece. Oh, man, I wish I had a science garden like that. Now, Georgia can finally begin her experiment and be a true scientist inside her hut. At first, she is having the most extraordinary time. I'm experimenting, I'm experimenting, I'm doing experiments without interference. So she is really, really happy right now and everything is bubbling and there's, oh, it is quite colorful though. It's, you know, her family did mention something about color and everything in here seems quite colorful and happy. And you no, know, like her. But then, uh oh, she has some trouble getting started. Why is that? I, I can study the, the color spectrum, but, but this has been done before. Oh, 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 what about how gravity works? No, wait, wait, that, that's been done before too. I, I'll, I'll create my own radioactive material, Georgia says, but, oh, that's not original or safe, is it? No, no, I'm really glad that you put the kibosh on the radioactive experiment. No the best idea even though she had some safety equipment still best not to go there Georgia <sighs> sighs she'll need to come up with her own ideas to create something special mm. Georgia has a motivation but where's the inspiration how do scientists come up with such amazing experiments what am I missing well, you remember at the dinner table, she said she didn't need imagination. I think she's finding out that she does. But then, oh, an idea strikes. Ba, ba, ba. How does my family get creative? She wonders. Georgia tries something new, something that's not from her library. It feels odd for her at first, but with every colorful beaker she fills and each new shape she draws, her excitement grows. What is this? Let's see, she's, she's counting numbers, she's got stars in her eyes, big ideas, big dreams, there's a color wheel, she's looking, she's drawing experiments, it's getting late, there's numbers flying through her head. <gasps> it's morning! It's time to head back home, and Georgia, well, she runs back. What? What, what do you want? Says her brother, still obviously nursing that grudge. Rubbing your boring science in our faces? He asks. I want to show you all something. Well, they all looked a little worried, but well, I mean, they figured she was safe in her, in her hut. By the way, how beautiful is the dawn? Wow. Science can be a work of art. Oh. oh, for the beauty and also for the revelation. Oh, what is this work of art? Oh, she's created. Georgia's mom smiles. I bet you can teach us some fun science facts that will help us with our art. And Georgia smiles back. And I bet you can give me some great art tips so that I can invent more beautiful experiments. Oh. That is the most beautiful thing ever. So this is Georgia, the scientist, and her family of fantastic artists. They used to work separately, but now they create sculptures, paintings, and experiments that leave everyone in awe. Even the family dog helps out. Georgia and her family agree that with art and science working in harmony, inspiration never runs dry. Look at that. So they were able to, co to combine the art and the science to create this amazing flask of beauty. Can you imagine being able to do that with your brain in your science hut that's in the beautiful woods just past that fence and that gorgeous garden? You know, like we spend our weekends normally. 
Georgia terrific, colorific experiment. And now you know that even if you're a little bit different from everybody else, whee, 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 whoo, 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 that's right. You can still all benefit from each other's talents. Whoo, whoo. You said it, Hootie. You want to take us out? Whoo, whoo. All right, Hootie wants to thank you for joining us today on this colorific, whoo, whoo, terrific, whoo, whoo, experimental, whoo, 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 whoo. That's right. Kid die story time. Hoo, 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 hoo.